deserves standing ovation. Magical by Baez. Baez trying to score! Hey, this is Mark DeRosa. Welcome to the show. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Texas Rangers. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Cleveland, the third baseman. Jose. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And we are in for a hot afternoon, 96 degrees at game time. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Kluber has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty D, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. Francisco Lindor is at the plate as he watches ball one. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. Oh. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. Hit out towards second. Odor showing off his range. 
Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Shin Su Chu. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. A swing and a miss. Two quick strikes to start his afternoon. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Boy, he sped him up in this head bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at-bat. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Settling in now, Elvis Andrews. The third baseman, He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Grounded to third. Ramirez is there. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope, that's the ball. The 2-0 on the way. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Counts even 2-2 two two to Joey Gallo. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The designated hitter, Now here's the pitch. Oh, one pitch on its way. One and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Popped straight up. Kluber is there for it. One down. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Lined but speared on a hop. And there's out number two. Here's Carlos Santana now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First delivery to him on the way. And the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Danny Santana. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. Right 
there. Murphy at second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. In there, 0-1. Well, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2 he misses with a fastball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So next to the plate for Texas, Ronald Guzman will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And they won't get him to chase the curve ball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. A 2-1 and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle of the zone. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Ripped on the ground to first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Digging in, Jose Iglesias, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set, and the pitch. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Bullet back up the middle. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Rymel Tapia. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to Rymel Tapia. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Left side, but well foul. All even at two and two. Here it is. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Hit back up the middle. Iglesias is up with it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. So one man gone for Cleveland here in the third, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Santana is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Pitch on its way to Avila. And it's fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, 
ball. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even two and two. Here's the pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Going back is the right fielder, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Now back. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. Out in front of it, strike one. Second appearance here, he grounded out to start the ball game. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugna Dodor. Here comes the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Hey, love the pitcher attack in the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts him out with the knuckle of curve, and he swings through it for strike one. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Now time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. Here it comes on nothing and two. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. Now back. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. Shinsu Chu. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. The tag, and he is out. So digging in now, Tyler Naquin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Tyler Naquin. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Cue shot here out toward short. First and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Uh -huh. Late now is the designated hitter, Fran Moraes. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard to catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop-up is going to be the result. The 1 1 home. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. One run, just one hit, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. And he's jammed a bit on that one, but he's able to foul it off to the right to stay alive. Another 1 2 delivery. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The third baseman. Here it comes now to Andrus. Andrus. Oh, one's the count. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one.
On, he pops it up. And the Rangers are in the hit column. To the Rangers, the center fielder, Joey. So that brings up Gallo. the big bat of Joey Gallo as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, hard of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. Speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Three two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So striding forward now, Danny Santana. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field. Tapia is there, two gone. And here's the former prize now Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. He really? was a strikeout victim in his now first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AV. One ball, no strikes to count. Ready with the 1 0. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Fouled off. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he fouls this one off. Shoots this one over to first. He lays out for it but he can't pull it in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. 0-1, oh, the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Andres at second. Calhoun at first. Two out in the inning. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Naquin's going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the second run will score as well. Up next to the Rangers, the second baseman, 
So here's the left-handed bat of Ruth Nidodor. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled away. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the two two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hard hit ball to second. Murphy's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy fouled off into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 pulled toward right center field Santana moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one one man out now in the oh, Cleveland fifth. And that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. And he fouls this one off. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. Now batting, the center fielder, Rymel. At the plate now, Rymel Tapia. The swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. That's popped up. But this will land untouched. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number 5. Hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now to the plate, Domingo Santana flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ground ball left side. Andres showing off his range. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Robinson Chirinos. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Ball one. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now, Shin Su Chu. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. 
oh one here's the pitch outside for a ball one and one check swing no swing says the home plate umpire ball two sent in the air out to straightaway center on the run is Tapia he's got it a nice play there two away so Elvis Andres the next to bat first delivery to him on the way Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two-hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 home. Rip down the line. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Here's Joey Gallo now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No hits to this point. And he misses again, 2-0. and Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. That one's more like it, he says. Back to 2-1 and one now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Turned on down the line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Hold this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. the sixth about to get started and next to hit is the catcher Alex Avila here comes the first pitch and that's cut on and missed 0 and 1 hey the guy on the mound is absolutely pound in the zone and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at 1 and 1 you know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll yeah. over something. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So striding in, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. The right fielder, number four. Striding in for the Tyler. Indians, Tyler Naquin. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. A ball and no strikes. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Ready for another chance. Danny Santana 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Danny Santana. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santana is there and he has it for the out. 
Striding forward now is the DH, Willie Calhoun. He's one for two in the ball game. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Ronald Guzman. He's one for two in this one. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Here's a high pop-up. Santana waits on it. And that's the third out. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is popped up. The wind up and the 0 1. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Chu has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now in the box, Fren Moreas. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. It is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Big rip at the curveball, but it comes up empty, and it's even at two and two. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So a runner at first now with one away, and up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 0 1. A bouncer to the left side. Iglesias gets down to make the play. Not in time. It was a highlight reel stop, but he can't get it out. And runners will be at first and second with one away. So now Carlos Santana. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Santana in front with a 2 and 0 count. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Well, well the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Popped him up. Odor is calling for it. He's got it and there are two down now. So coming to the plate, Rymel Tapia. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Santana is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Correct. 
last half of the seventh here. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jose Iglesias. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. and oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Santana moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Here's Rogna okay. Dodor now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Dominic okay. Leon takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Fouled away. Here's the pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. The 1-2. Is taken high, but for a called strike three. Striding into the box, Robinson Chirinos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in his zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Standing in, Shin Su Chu. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Now, time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. First offering on its way. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Now that in now, Alex Avila. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Gallo is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pitch coming, here it is. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Hit hard up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. The right fielder, number 30. Tyler. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Now a 
fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To Iglesias for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Late Elvis Andrews, two for three with a double on his line so far. Third baseman, Elvis Andrews. Here's the first pitch to him. And he pops it up back behind second base. Murphy has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now at the plate, Joey Gallo, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Up top, it's 2-0. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Gallo swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Now that right fielder, Danny. To the plate now, Danny Santana. As he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Rip down the first base line. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Well hit to right. But a foul ball. Again, another foul ball. Ramirez is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Now at the plate, Willie Calhoun. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Adam Simber enters here, looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Here's the 0 1 pitch behind 0 and 2 now. Grounded back up the middle, reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Francisco Lindor. Not providing much out of the three-hole in this one. Hitless in three at-bats so far. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ballgame, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. 2-0 now. Line drive to center field. Gallo is right there, one down. Coming to the plate now, Fran Moraes. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Odor is there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Daniel Murphy. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
off the plate, ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And this one's too far inside, ball two. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. The bat, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Standing in now, Carlos Santana, and it's fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Looking up is the center fielder, still ranging back. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Now that the center fielder, Rymo Coppola. Rick Martin gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. So now to the plate, Rymel Tapia. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Last strike now for Cleveland. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Chirinos recovers. Throw in time and the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. The Rangers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Corey Kluber pitches well enough to get the W. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, four runs on six hits, no errors, they left four men on base.